What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel and I'm excited to share with you guys all my brand new desk setup right behind me. I had a ton of fun putting this thing together and I'm sure you guys are all wondering how much did it cost, how much does it weight can it hold, what's on it, why I chose these parts, all that good stuff. I'm so, so happy with how this thing turned out and I can't wait to tell you guys all about it. Let's just hop straight into the video. So there was actually no setup here before this. So my family just moved into this brand new house. Most of our stuff hadn't even been unpacked when we started building since I needed a place to work come Monday. So when coming up the stairs, this house is a very nice sized law. I decided to build my setup instead of in my room. So I would have more space and just not be so secluded. Also, I think it's really good to have a separate office space from the rest of your house. And this right side of this loft was a perfect spot for it since it wasn't blocking any walking ways, was a little bit out of sight, so it wouldn't take up too much space. What is this window and best of all has an ethernet cable slot. Now the top of this desk is from Ikea and it's actually their Sajan countertop. It's a beautiful piece of work at an amazing price point of only $70 for their eight foot version, which I'm currently using. However, at that price point, there is a little bit of a catch. You see this right behind me is not real wood. It's a particle board, which is a bunch of compressed wood chips with a thin layer of laminate on top to make it look pretty. And there's two problems with that. A, it can be torn or ripped at the sides and the ends pretty easily. And B, over time, if it's not properly supported, it will bend. A lot of YouTubers who use this IKEA hack often put drawers on the ends of their desk, which looks nice, but over time will cause the board to bend in the center. So that means this countertop has to be supported in multiple places. I also wanted this desk to be mounted to the wall and not have any legs, give it that floating modern aesthetic look, especially since the rest of this brand new house follows those two themes. So I went to Home Depot to get what I needed. Seven three fourth inch black iron pipe, seven three fourth inch flanges, and at least 14 two hole straps, and of course, a battery for my stud finder. Yes, as I know, you guys will also need a stud finder, tape measure, at least a two foot long straight edge, a leveler, a drill, and both two inch and three fourth inch long screws for this project. Don't worry though, I'll have all the Amazon and Home Depot links in the description below for both the parts I'm using and the tools I regularly use in case you guys wanna build this desk as well. Now, the reason why I'm using these black iron pipes and the typical L brackets you guys see is again, because that whole bending problem with these particle boards. L bracket is usually about a foot or 16 inches long, and I do not want the desk to bend forward over time. We use a larger L bracket, it's two feet long. The problem with that is they're a bit more expensive. They could also block your knees moving around freely, and if they're visible when you're standing from around the desk, it kills the entire floating look to it. So black iron pipes are your best bet. This definitely supported well with four of them. I know seven is a bit overkill, but I just want it to feel really safe and sturdy with this thing. From here, we need to figure out the desk's height. The typical size for a desk is between 28 to 30 inches. So I measured my sister's desk sitting at my chair and it was 29.5 inches, which is a little bit too high for me. So my desk needed to be 29 inches so my arms would sit at that ergonomic 90 degree angle. Now subtract an inch and a half is the thickness of the countertop and we need a line marking 27.5 inches on this wall. So I threw on a pencil line using this laser leveler I borrowed from my uncle. If you guys don't have one of these, don't worry. Just measure the height of multiple places and connect them using a straight edge. Then once I found and marked all the studs, I just held the flange to the wall where it would sit in front of the stud at that 27.5 inch mark and marked where all the holes I would need to drill would be. Then I pre-drilled all those holes to prevent the studs from chipping and lastly started screwing in the flanges to the wall. During this time, making sure everything is level and don't worry if it's not, just turn the flange 45 degrees and re-drill in the correct spot. And just remember the more you level, the better. Two of my flanges I set weren't, but I quickly fixed them. And after that, I screwed in the black iron pipes and made sure again, everything is level. Then with some help, I finally put the countertop on the pipes. Now I recommend you guys don't make the countertop flush with the wall, leave at least an inch, preferably an inch and a half or two so you can fit all your cables and chargers and it'll make the desk look like it has more depth. You can measure this, but I just used two of the cardboard supports that came in the countertop box between the wall and the countertop and then just got under the desk started drilling in the two hole straps with those three fourth inch screws. I know having 14 two hole straps was like a bit overkill, but trust me, there's a good reason for it. Just because your pipe is level with the pipes around it and your flanges are level, that doesn't mean that the pipe is exactly 90 degrees perpendicular from the wall, which is an issue I ran into. 
So these straps help bind the pipe to the desk and help make sure that error doesn't exist and the desk is really sturdy sitting on the pipe. And once you've done all of that, just clean up and bam, there's your desk. On my desk, I'm rocking this 32 inch curved Spectre monitor, an MX Master wireless mouse, RII mechanical keyboard, and a fast charging wireless pad for my main setup. I'm in love with everything here, but especially the mouse. All these are very ergonomically designed, get me through my long hours here easily. And of course, right underneath I have my computer. I'll leave a link to a video showing how I built this in the description. And right above slash behind is my cable management. Then on my work setup, I have my company laptop, my laptop stand, a Logitech keyboard and mouse set. Nothing fancy here, but it's all very durable and works like a charm. And then lastly, I have my Dell XPS 15 for school and work. Normally if I need a little change in scenery, I'll take this down to the coffee shop or in the living room to keep staying productive. And there you have it guys, that is my brand new desk setup. And again, I'll have all the parts I use, materials, tools, stuff on my desk in the description below to make it as easy as I can for you guys. If you guys enjoyed the video or learned something, you should be a big thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I will see you guys next week for the next video.